Hey, it's John Cook with Keynote Content. Thanks again for joining me here as I talk through the content for coaches and consultants today, especially what we've seen over the last several months is that there's been a big shift, a big disruption, of course, in the coaching and consulting industries because of COVID-19, because of this global pandemic. And so what I want to walk you through today is here are the ways to get online referrals and what are the best online sources for getting referrals, specifically as a coach or consultant here in 2020. And as we finish out this year and going into 2021, what are the best places for you to find those referrals or best ways to best places to hang out, to give value, to make sure that those are turning into actual lead generation sources for you with your coaching and consulting business. So I'm going to give you four different uh, ideas for today. But before we jump into this, you might say, I don't know how any of this is set up. I don't even know what to do or where those places might be. I don't know. This whole COVID-19 has disrupted so much of my business, my industry. That's why you're here. Just you listening to this, watching this, wherever you might be, you're seeing that this is an opportunity for you to get the traction and then momentum that you need as a coach or consultant. Brush the dust off, pick yourself back up. Let's do this, okay? So the first place that I know that you can get great referrals online is what I call your LinkedIn or Facebook groups. And what I'm going to give you today is not necessarily content where you say, oh my gosh, this is groundbreaking, but it's saying for all the different options that are out there, you know these options. You know probably know all four of these options that I'm going to give you. What I'm doing is I'm narrowing down and saying, I know these are the top four. Instead of the top 25, 31, I could do this, 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 posting, liking, sharing, tweeting. Oh my gosh. How do you make sure that you're narrowing in on the top three or four that you know will work? So the first one here is LinkedIn or Facebook groups. LinkedIn has started to pour a ton of different emphasis uh, on the actual group, the community aspect of LinkedIn. You don't just go on, you don't just have connections, but you go on and you jump into a small hub, a small conversation as part of a LinkedIn group. Facebook's been pushing groups for a couple years now because they recognize that people don't just want to be in on a platform, they want to be connected. They want to be in a group that's continuing the conversations that matter to them about topics that are most important to their future, to their interest. And in a LinkedIn, Group, I mean, Facebook groups are starting to get pretty well overrun as far as like they're fairly well saturated. There are you know, millions and millions of groups now, but LinkedIn still is fairly well on the early adoption side of LinkedIn groups. So if you can find a LinkedIn group that's not necessarily tied into your, just into your industry, but into your industry specifically tied to a problem that you solve. So it's not just, oh, I'm going to join a coach's group, but maybe I'm if I'm helping parents um, be able to figure out how to be better parent parenting or if I want to help um, people who want to get out of debt. I'm not joining necessarily a, um, a coaching group, but I'm joining a group of people who are getting rid of financial debt or getting financial freedom. I would join that group far more than just joining any other group about coaching. So you find the groups that are specific to the problem that you can solve and then what you do is you give value in advance. You answer questions, you are engaging on the social side, things are actually consistent with producing that social experience. You're answering questions, you're engaging, you're asking questions, you're giving people resources, whatnot, not necessarily even your resources, but it's saying I'm answering questions to help you get the results right now. And people will then start to ascribe to you the value that you're already providing and saying, let's continue your conversation because I love the way that you answer that question. And I love the way that you showed up in our group without any strings attached, without making a sale or an offer right off the bat. Jump into a LinkedIn group, Facebook group, depending on your industry, depending on your, your audience. If you're a B2B, business to business, LinkedIn makes more sense. If business to consumer, Facebook groups would make more sense. That, those are kind of the tendencies. So jumping into groups and being active in there once a day, just go in there for you know, 30, 60 seconds, couple minutes, whatever it is, jump in, add your two cents, go from there. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about his $1.98 cent uh, marketing uh, strategy. He says, go find these different t topics or questions on LinkedIn, give your two cents, do that 99 times every day, that's your $1.98 marketing uh, strategy, it works, it absolutely works. The first one there, LinkedIn groups or Facebook groups, depending on your emphasis for your business. Another one that I recommend is that I call it uh, um, online stages. A lot of people call this, well, it's just podcasts, it's summits, it's webinars, it's seminars. 
Online stages gives you an amazing opportunity, especially since live events just are not happening nowadays because of COVID-19. We want to have that social distancing in place. They're starting to come up a little bit more now. Over the next couple months, we'll see it start to slowly, cautiously reopen. But what I want you to emphasize is online stages, podcasts aren't going away. In fact, podcasts, people have recognized that the value of being able to leverage a podcast audience is more valuable than ever because it's been underutilized in the past. With even how popular podcasting was over the last several years, it's now people are just now recognizing, wait a second, there's an amazing opportunity here. So finding out what is the best way for you to get onto more podcasts and do more webinars, uh, summits, seminars, um, ways where you can share your message, not as a one-to-one, -one, but a one-to-many. I like looking for what's the one to many to maximize. If I'm going to take the effort and the focus and the energy to deliver this message, how do I deliver it not just to one person, but to many people? So you can take and say, even if it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you can be able to broadcast that through your social media. That takes me to the third one. But before we really get into the third one here, if you're saying, gosh, John, I don't know what groups I need to join to really connect and add value on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever it might be, or you're saying, I don't know how to get on podcasts. I've worked with over 1,100 different business coaches and consultants and over 800 different speakers since 2016, one-on-one, -on -one, helping them craft and share the messages and get connected with these groups. Get on those podcasts, get on those stages, and I can help you craft in your message and have the same momentum to get the business momentum that you need with your message. So you can go to workwithjohncook.com. Let's hop on a call. After you fill out an application, we'll hop on a call, talk about your business, talk about your message, talk about which groups might be a good fit for you, talk about what podcasts might be the great uh, podcast for you to explore hopping on, and we can help you get the momentum that you need with your message heading into the rest of this year. So we started with LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, depending on your industry, depending on your emphasis, talk about podcasting, summits, seminars, stages. Um, the third thing I like is saying being consistent on social media. And you might say, okay, what does it mean to actually be consistent on social media? John, this is not rec this is not you know groundbreaking. You're not inventing the wheel here, John. How can this be seen as just the most reliable way to generate leads online? It's how you show up on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever it might be. Are you showing up consistently? And not just consistently as a I'm showing up on a day day by day basis. That's frequency, but consistency in the quality of content consistency in the quality of preparation, consistency in the way in which you help people see your expertise is designed for their success too. So consistent social media saying also, if I have to limit to say, oh, I, I only really want to focus on Facebook or I only want to focus on LinkedIn, whatever it might be, choose that platform and then show up consistently with your quality, with your focus, and with the way that you serve people and then show up frequently saying, I'm not showing up right now and then I don't show up until next month on the 17th. No, showing up as much as possible, as frequently as possible so that it is sustainable, it is consistent and people can see that you are here to stay and you're not here just to come in, get their interest and then hop out as soon as you get a lead or a client out of it. No, you're saying I want to care about these people. I want to consistently give an experience of people say, I know that when I hop into that group, that Mike has been sharing great questions. He's been answering and, and uh, uh, amazing, tough questions that people are facing. Or Stephanie or DeAndre, whomever you might be, I know that you're showing up in a way that gives people the value they're looking for and that I can trust that you're an expert who's not just here to make a sale, but you're here to make a difference. There's a huge, huge difference in how you show up. So the fourth one here is that I like to say leveraging your current connections. We all know hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people. But when I say current connections, and not just leveraging people that you know, but the people that you know who are sneezers in your industry. So um, when I say sneezers, it's referring back to uh, Seth Godin's book about the idea virus. What is the most, uh, what's the most contagious form in the world? It's not COVID-19. It is absolutely this idea of an idea. An idea is the most contagious, most, um, uh, most powerful concept in the entire universe is that I have something that I think might be interesting to somebody else, 
but who can I talk to to share that interesting thing so that they could see the interest and value in that as well. For an idea, it's saying you have somebody in your industry who knows not hundreds of people like you do, but tens of thousands of people. And it's saying, how can I connect with somebody who knows the tens of thousands of people and share my expertise, share my ideas, and saying, does this sound like something that people in your audience would be interested in? And how can I give value to them in advance and show that I can answer this question or solve this problem for them? So instead of connecting with other people, saying just random people, it's saying, who are the five most influential people that I know on LinkedIn that I connect with as a first person connection? And then reaching out to them sharing your message, helping solve a problem for them first and saying, if that makes sense, I've solved this problem for you. How can I help solve this problem for other people that you know in your audience? Here are a couple ways that I know I can do that. So what you can do is you can go to LinkedIn, pull up your connections and saying, okay, for these hundreds, maybe thousands of connections I have, you can try searching in advanced search. How many people do I know are connected to at least 5,000 other first generation connections. It's somebody that they know that first connection, not they know somebody who knows that person. It's I know them and they know somebody firsthand. It's not two or three generations down the line. So connection finding as you go person by person saying who has 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 plus connections on LinkedIn, reach out to that those people, send them a message saying, hey, what are your top challenges that you have? And then find okay, what's your biggest challenge right now when it comes to this topic? and mention your topic. And if they give you saying, here is the challenge, you take your time, you solve that challenge for them, saying, hey, I've put together some ideas, this is no cost to you, I wanna give you, here is my con here's my answer to that problem, or here's my solution to that problem, that challenge that you shared, and here's a way that I can solve that for you. And then, that gives them an idea to see your expertise, it doesn't cost them any more than maybe a couple minutes of their time reading your messages back. It doesn't cost them financially. It doesn't cost them from a reputation standpoint. But they see that you have the expertise and you've proven that expertise by solving the problem that they said was one of the biggest challenges for them. And then you do that lather, rinse, repeat approach through LinkedIn. You're giving value. You're showing your expertise. You're giving people a chance to commit a little bit of time with you before they commit financially. Those are the four ways that I know are generating amazing online referrals, online leads for you. So as you look at all these different options that you have, hopefully your mind is a buzz now looking at, okay, I can jump into groups. I can look at more podcasts or more online stages. I can be more consistent with how I show up on social media. I can leverage my current connections. Say, I don't know where to start first, John. I don't know what's the best starting point for me. You can go to workwithjohncook.com, fill out an application, we'll hop on a call, we'll talk about each of these four, we'll talk about your industry, we'll talk about how you've been doing up till now this year, talk about where you'd like to go for the rest of this year and how we can put together a plan for your message, your business, to make the impact that you can make this year. Go on out, make it a great day, talk to you soon. Take care.